Nothing can break me. Good morning, happy Sunday. Morning. Um, so John got up bright and early this morning to play golf. I did, yeah, great game, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was really close with the person I was playing with, so yeah, it was a great game. Yeah, um, we're gonna go out now, obviously, <laughs> but we were gonna <laughs> head to Diddley Square. Yes. But it's gonna rain and it's quite far away from our house like it's an hour and a half there yeah. and then an hour and a half back because obviously that's how travel works yeah and um it seemed like a long way just to go to diddly squat when there are other things in the area that i would like to see too i'd love to do it one day um i've seen the farm obviously you mentioned it before on amazon it was great i really want to see it um but yeah, today might not be the day for that. No. So we can do that, like, like Emma said, we've got more time. And then we can take a drain with us and explore the uh, area yeah. as well, not only a shop, so. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're doing instead, because we are wild, um, we're going to a sports shop so that John can buy some new walking trousers. Well, it's more of an outdoor shop, isn't it? It's more of a I keep saying sports shop, but it's, um, yeah, like yeah. go outdoors or, Whatever. Sports shops sell walking trousers. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. So. Um, yeah, we're going to do an outdoor shop. We're going to get what we need from next weekend because we're doing a charity Peak District walk. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, it meant to be really warm, it meant to have another heat wave. So I'm going to be really cool and get one of your trousers out. Start off with trousers, but then later on become shorts. <laughs> Jensen's so excited about these trousers, right? Yeah. But they were like cool in like the 90s. I understand that, and it won't be cool and never will end again. However, who's going to have a last laugh when it's 36 degrees doing a walk and I can go in shorts? Because we have to start really early, so it's going to be cold in the morning. And I like 11 o'clock in the morning when it's like everyone's all sweaty and oh, well, I'll be there in shorts or flip flops. Cool. <laughs> so we're going to go to the Swindon outlets. Um, John doesn't massively like Swindon, but the outlets are there and they have some outdoory shops, so yeah. it'll work. The problem with going to cities, and ta like Bath is obviously our closest place to go and buy things. Yeah. Um, and parking is just like eight quid for like two hours or whatever. Oh, yeah. If, and it's stupid. It's more for Bath, it might be like tenner for Bath. Yeah, so otherwise it's Bristol, but we would still have to pay for parking. Yeah. Whereas at the Swindon outlets, um, it's only a pound for like four hours or something. Yeah. So we're gonna grab some lunch while we're there and have a look. And then also in Swindon is a decathlon, which are obviously a big sports shop yes. and a big go outdoors as well. So if he doesn't find his zip off trousers <laughs> in the outlet, so we can go to go outdoors and they'll definitely have them. Yes. So yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> I keep on seeing the Citrus C3s at the moment. No, the I've not bought that. that. I know, but I think you made the right decision because I see a couple of. You know, when you buy a car and you look at a car, you see them all the, all the time. I keep on seeing Citroëns and I keep on seeing the mockers like you bought. Yeah. <laughs> and I definitely think you made the right decision. <laughs> Good, except that I could probably have a Citroën now and I have to wait for my mocker. That's okay. Good things come to those who wait. They say that, but. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you in Swindon. Yes. So obviously, we're here in Swindon. And Emma had a great idea because I was going to get my car washed um, in chipping on the way home, um, but they got a place here, so it gets getting done while I'm shopping. What's yeah, amazing? Yeah, I was just going to show you. It's just there. Yeah, I've never done it here before. Um, and we'll they, see if they do a good job. Well, yeah, they seem like they are, and they got all the fires. And because obviously we went away last weekend and got Louis hair and stuff to get all that done. Yeah, why not? They had a clipboard and everything. <laughs> Very professional. <laughs> well happy. <laughs> It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight. I work in a train company and all these machinery is about is to make trains. You can see a lot of stuff around, bogies and trains around. And this is an old machinery for that. Compared to my machinery at work, <laughs> it's mad. 
Yeah. It's cool, it's it's great. cool that it's just out, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just us two. Disney. Well, I'll try them and see if wow. it's like Disney. Okay. I was gonna get two, but I think it's plenty for. Yeah, John did two, but there's like eight churros. Can you get some chocolate bit? Ooh. Oh my god, that looks so good. Mm. Is it Disney flavored? It's good. Not as good as Disney, <laughs> but it's good. I'm excited. So we're gonna eat some churros. Mm. Um, that's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> to stay every single day yeah. they were so good I'm so glad we got those yeah they weren't Disney good but they were good for England <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. John was just saying how weird it is because I like churros but I don't like donuts yeah it doesn't make sense it's the same thing yeah really. <laughs> but they're less doughy yeah yeah so. and it's not as much of it at one time I guess yeah, yeah. and you can dip yeah. And I like anything. <laughs> you can dip. Yeah, as yeah. a rule, if you can dip the food, I enjoy it. it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chicken dippers. Yeah. I don't really like chicken, like breaded chicken, but yeah. I like chicken nugs and chicken. I quite like um, enchiladas because that's like a picky tea. Uh, yeah, I like picky tea. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what I'm made for. <laughs> but yeah, um, just behind us, you can't see it yet, but you'll see it in a sec, is a steam engine museum. Yeah, we had never done it. So I, I just realised it didn't explain why you see not of equipment to make train stuff. Basically this site used to be where Brunel made trains, steam trains. Yeah. Um, and it's quite famous, he's done a lot of it, or Brunel done quite a many steam trains and they turned it into a shopping area basically. Yeah, but um, they kept some of the trains. Stuff. Yeah, they kept some of, the, some of the, the buildings and some of the equipment and the machinery and stuff. And like Emma said, behind us, um, they've got a steam museum with more stuff in I guess. Yeah. Um, that we never done, but I'll just say that one day I would like to, so you might come and give it a go. It's nice so, to do things in your local area, so. Yeah. And I've never done that. And I like a museum. John Absolutely. doesn't normally like a museum. And I, I work in the chain industry. I make the new stuff. You know, like I said earlier, my machinery is nothing like that, obviously. But my dad, Western House, quite famous, turned into Connor Brems. Um, we're quite famous for it. Yeah. Um, and that's what it used to, all the equipment used to be like. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll wander over there now, find out the prices and that for like, another day. Yeah. Um, and then maybe one day we'll take you guys with us. And then John's car should be nice and clean. Yes, that'd be good. Do you think nice. he'll have an air freshener? I hope so. But I if hope not, it I can smells buy like bubble gum. <laughs> yeah. So hold me tight through the night. John went to the museum, we saw it. <laughs> Wow, so cool. That's the one I make. That's the one John makes. <laughs> um, John wanted to come and see these things. Well, I mean, tell me if I'm getting too geeky. You're but, getting too geeky. <laughs> right. But how awesome is it? So you've got a museum there with steam, you know, back in the day, awesome. Then you get your new stuff with electric cables for the electric trains. Okay, what is this? That's a boogie. Oh, boogie. Wow. Boogie. What is this? I don't know what that is. A turntable or something, I guess. Well, it's got tracks on it. So. Like a turn, yeah, so I guess the train come in, turn it, and then two. Looks like a spinning top on its side like that. Cool, we walked <laughs> all the way down here. I like that. We've got to come in. It would be good. Okay, we'll do it. That's the building there, just there, in case you care. But it's original. I mean, these being restored, what's awesome. More of these original buildings. What's amazing. Too geeky. Is it? <laughs> These flowers look like big, um, what are they called? We call, I call them wishes. Or like the fairy flowers that you blow. Daisy. That's not a daisy. I can't remember what they're called. I thought you can go in, I think wildfires. I thought you could do that. You could do it. What? Yeah, look. 
The, yeah. Like that one there looks like those big ones you blow. Yeah. You're going to grow some? No. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's wildflowers, so you look after yourself, surely? I don't know. Probably not. No, probably not. <laughs> it's mine, I like them. Yeah, the big one. Yeah. It's just us two. Me and you. about your car. It's really a good job. Did you? I found chewing gum. They found chewing gum. <laughs> I didn't know I had any. Maybe it's that. <laughs> Maybe, but I'm having it now. <laughs> it's sort of what I would normally do is buy yourself and just chuck it in your down. car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. No, it's done a good job. Um, all the hair's gone, Louis's hair. What's yeah. good? Yeah, it's been a really good job. I think I'll do it again. It's nice and easy. Yeah, and very convenient. Yeah, easy, isn't it? So mm -hmm. yeah, happy days. Oh, they're really old, eh? yeah. But. <laughs> Never mind then. Is it crunchy? So obviously you can see we came to outdoor go outdoor. Go outdoor. And we're looking at tents. I don't know why we're looking at tents, because we like hotels. But everyone wants to look at tents. It's raining. <laughs> we've got walking childers, we've got backpacks, you're all ready to go for next week, what's good. Yeah, so I think we're all set, what's amazing. Um, but I'm going to stay in here because it's raining. <laughs> um, so we're back, the oven's on, if you can hear it, then you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're cooking chicken for tonight, it'll be nice. Yeah. We're back, I've had a chat to my sister, I've been doing every Sunday, it was nice. Um, yeah, we know they have a fun day. Yeah, I want to do a little. We went to go outdoors in the end. Yeah. Um, so John bought those trousers um, <laughs> with the zip offs. Yes, you watch. I have a last laugh next weekend when it's boiling hot and I was in trousers and I can be in shorts. Um, so I thought <laughs> I would just quickly show you the other bits we bought okay. in case you care. So um, this is my water bottle for the day. It says Nathan on it. Is it 2D? It's not quite. It's not quite. It's. I don't know. But I don't think it's quite two litres, so... Because one of the rules to do the walk, we need to carry two litres with us mm -hmm. to start. So, yeah, we might need to get another small bottle with that as well. Yeah, so then I'll show you... Hold that one second. Okay. But don't show them. <laughs> um, in case you can't hear the zip in. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. That's, I... a, that's a long part. She's I gone into the wrong part. Nothing. <laughs> okay. So we got... Oh, there are your pants. Here's my pants. These are John's pants. They're my trousers. They're my pants and trousers. And then this is, is it? There's pocket. absolutely nothing wrong with them at all. You know, that's absolutely fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Emma's taking a mick, but I quite like them. Because, like, they're so nice. <laughs> and they're so light, so I'll have a last laugh. Probably. <laughs> um, and then, just socks. So I bought these ones that, um, they're socks. Yeah. They're walking socks, so. Yeah. <laughs> and then I bought these ones, I think because they were cheap and pink. Okay. And I've got some like this that I really like. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if I need taller ones. Sainsbury's. Yeah, my ones are from Sainsbury's and they feel exactly the same. Yeah. So I would 100% recommend the Sainsbury's ones. Okay. But these were cheap. So okay. I got these. Cool. And then the piece de resistance. Yep. I got a backpack. <laughs> so my bottle can go in there. It does fit. Um, and then there's this zippy compartment, I guess, for like. My phone? Yeah. Oh. Uh, snacks. 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 <laughs> easily accessible. And then there's this compartment, I guess, for my phone and snacks. <laughs> okay. um, and then also this compartment for another bottle of water um, <laughs> and, and snacks. snacks. <laughs> or maybe a first aid kit, maybe it might be sensible. But a first aid and kit water. isn't going to be this big, is it? <laughs> or am I carrying that? <laughs> yeah, you're going to carry that. And these socks. Because you take care of your feet, uh, like after you, so you change your socks halfway around, because that's a good... That's what they say to do, for but I think the rules that they've given us are also the rules for the people that are doing, like, yeah. the full thing, which is, like, 100 kilometres. Yeah, the drone, because I'm taking a drone, batteries, camera... You're not using my backpack, though, are you? No, I'm taking my own. Right, cool. <laughs> Mine's yeah. bigger than that. Yeah, so I thought this would be handy, because um, I only have, like, girl backpacks, you yeah. know, like fashion backpacks, yeah. not like um, useful ones. So I got that one. But um, 
I've got a Go Outdoors member discount card thingy oh, yeah. that I got when we bought our walking shoes. And yes. when we got to the till, she said, have you got um, a membership card? And I said, no, because I forgot. Yeah, and she did. said it was like 80 odd pounds. Yeah. No. John's trousers would have been 45. The bag yeah. would have been 20. I imagine the socks were also more. Yeah. Um, when we used the card that I did have that I remembered that I had, it all came to 40 odd pounds. Which That's is, mad. Yeah. yeah, my trousers went from 45 down to 20. It yeah. was ridiculous. Yeah, so um, I think she said a year's membership was five pounds. Yeah. So we've definitely made our money out of that this year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not every year we would because obviously go outdoors is something that we don't normally really need anything. Yeah, we type of hotel people rather than tent people. Yeah, so but if you're buying like literally one thing, yeah. it saves you money. However... No, your sister and your dad's been talking about doing this every year and the longer one. And they're doing it on their own. <laughs> so we might be roped into that next year, we we'll see. No. <laughs> we'll see I if we're a new walking family. We're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's everything we bought in case you wanted to go outdoors haul. That yep. is it. Um, we're going to just enjoy our evening now, so we thought we would come and say goodbye. Absolutely, yeah. Bob and Kelly's doing a live in about an hour and a half, so we'll watch that. Um, so yeah, we're going to enjoy the evening and just chill out. Yeah, we hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and we will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.